In the metro, several school districts plan to start virtually, but parents and teachers, they want to know how they'll move back into the classroom. Tonight in a story you'll only see on 41 Action News, reporter Ariel Rothfield spent the afternoon at Rockhurst High School to get a glimpse. School leaders here have been following their own advice, imagining and creating one plan after another in preparation of welcoming students back. We walk through what this upcoming school year will look like. When the um, health and safety of people is such an important topic, you know, the challenge of trying to do it well is extremely important for us. And at Rockhurst High School, it all starts before the first bell. Each day, students and staff will have to fill out this online health survey. If they're good to go, they'll come and they'll enter through these doors. Then they'll walk past this machine reading each person's temperature. Ours, 97.7. We are good to go. We'll have a little bit of, I think, learning curve to go through with the kids because this is a culture change, a human change. A change that can be seen just by walking through the halls. Common spaces have been transformed into classrooms. Arrows on the floor point to which way students should go. And every desk has been measured and marked. We're trying to help them understand where to be so that they can maintain distance. This year, students will no longer be eating in the cafeteria, which is now going to be a classroom. Instead, lunch will be delivered to their desk and start times will be staggered. You know, there's really not a whole lot of opportunity to congregate. In the nurses area, a new addition, an isolation room with an air scrubber in case a student or a teacher feels sick. But to prevent that, everyone will be required to constantly wipe down their desks. We have seven large spaces we've converted to learning to allow that density in classrooms to be appropriate for safety. We've also offered the remote learning so people who need to be at home can be at home and still be part of this community. Community. A community that has been re-engineering parts of the school and planning for months how they can return while keeping everyone safe. So it's very important to me, though not beyond important of safety, to really continue that tradition of education of, of students not only here in Kansas City but around the country. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.